Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 44. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. Yahuwah has wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning, such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. Leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people. Wise and eloquent are their instructions, such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing, rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them, that their praises might be reported. And some there be, which have no memorial, who are perished, as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them. But these were merciful men, whose righteousness has not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. Their seed stands fast, and their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever, and their glory shall not be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace but their name lives forevermore. The people will tell of their wisdom, and the assembly will show forth their praise. Chanak pleased Yahuwah and was translated, being, being an example of repentance to all generations. Noach was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath, he was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. An everlasting covenant was made with him that all flesh should perish no more by the flood. Avraham was a great father of many people. In glory was there none like unto him. who kept the Torah of El Elyon and was in covenant with him. He established the covenant in his flesh, and when he was proved, he was found faithful. Therefore, he assured him by an oath that he would bless the nations in his seed and that he would multiply him as the dust of the earth and exalt his seed as the stars and cause them to inherit from sea to sea, and from the river unto the utmost part of the land. With Yitzhak did he establish likewise for Avraham his father's sake the blessing of all men and the covenant, and made it rest upon the head of Yaakov. He acknowledged him in his blessing, and gave him a heritage, and divided his portions. Among the twelve tribes did he part them. <laughs>